We open on a fair dinkum serious face. Is that a flying car up there? Don't promise that stuff in sci-fi movies, Hollywood. It ends up being misleading bullshit. This is me when I go outside. Don't explore the base. She says, who wants to explore the base? Could be snacks in there. Don't worry about it being near a volcanic planet. I love snacks, says that guy. So does she. Everyone does. Every human on Earth or travelling about loves a snack. They look for a parking space. Oh, fuck no. Yeah, nah, I'm already noping out. This computer in code says you are fucked 9000. He enjoys a nice view. Nice views are a positive aspect of travelling. Bloody August. Alright, no worries alien, I'm free. They fire up the air conditioning. This might be alright. This might be a comfortable, peaceful alien movie from the director of Evil Dead. You know, like not every alien movie needs to be Horrific, that looks dodgy. And don't breathe. Was that the movie with the sperm guy? She does tradie jobs. There's a lot of repairs needed though. No, it's a little alien sleepover party. Surely if you train them from a young age, you can tame them to be on your side. I can't be the first wanker that's thought about doing that. Imagine having a pet alien, the pranks you could play. Bam, trippy trip. Protect your mouth, protect your mouth and face. Rule 101 when you act in an alien movie. This is just like swimming in the local creek in Australia. It's it's not a big deal. Don't panic so much. Oh, there it is! Tightly wrapped face hug incoming! Ah, uh, yeah, you see your mouth. You need to not have a mouth. Basically gross, he says. They went looking for snacks. Instead, they became the snacks. <laughs> Alright, they went looking for a new life and they found it. Ugh. Or it found them, big time. Oh, you know what's coming now. We all know what chest pain leads to in this fucking franchise. I wish I had one of those torches for when I get in digestion. How handy. Don't stare. Help out. At least push on her chest. Pop the lumpy bit back in. Yeah, there you go. There has to be a way to live with the alien inside of you peacefully. Maybe. Nah. Nah, that's idealistic thinking on my behalf. She needs therapy ASAP. Mate, don't. Yep, yep. Space guns. That will solve some of the problem. Come on. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, pew, pew, pew. Is that alien vomit? That looks worse than the Cybertruck, that vehicle, whatever that was. Behind ya! Behind, in front of ya! To the side of ya! Okay, well, beneath ya! Yep, nah, I don't see how anyone ever survives these movies. It would be so much effort fighting aliens. Oh, explosions! Explosions can often help. Having no oxygen is still a big... Oh, a <laughs> big mama! Uh... Uh, yeah, having no oxygen is still a huge obstacle. But yeah, August, as I said, I'm free. Bring on the aliens. Bring them on.